Well, good morning guys. Welcome to day number two of this little scouting series. We uh, woke up at like 5.15 this morning, cooked a little breakfast on the camp chef. We had oatmeal because we knew we would need some energy and some carbs to climb up this beast. So we just got to like the first good vantage point. And uh, so far we've glassed in this side hill. We've got four bull elk. They're definitely all bulls, which is really cool. And uh, haven't got the scope out yet, but we're gonna pull out the vortex and take a look and see what they are. The one, the one in front looked to be the biggest frame, but the one in back looked to be like just a big old five point. So they're, uh, I don't know, about a thousand yards away. So we'll get the scope out and check them out. Got the old vortex in here. Got the tripod. Dusty from our four-wheeler ride. The trail cams. Set this thing up. Alright, let's take a gander at these things. Everything's so dusty. Alright. Oh, it's a five by six. Let me get a phone scope out. Show you guys these elk. Looks sounds like someone stopped right there. Yeah. I wonder if they can see us. We've got company. All right, guys, come take a look at this. So there's that. That's the biggest one right there. And the one on the top of the screen is the next biggest one. He's pretty too. Guys, these phone scopes. They're so easy to use. You just, you get the, the attachment for the, the phone that you have, and then you get the attachment up here for the scope that you have. They have a universal one, but uh, if you're using a lot of different optics, I'd recommend the universal. But if you can get the adapter specific for um, your scope, I think that's the best way. So you can use the Hush discount code at phonescope.com. Guys, we always have um, all the sharing links and the discount codes in the description box. So if you want to go check that out for now, enjoy these bowls. Those are definitely some nice bulls. Yeah, they're so cool. Those some shooters. Heck yeah, I'd shoot anyone and be so happy. Really? Especially that one with the cool third. Yeah, he was sweet. Have you seen anything else? The other ones? Have you seen anything else? Any other bulls? No. All right, I don't have my binoculars. Oh, uh, no glass? No glass. Should we go to the next spot? Sure. At least you have a pistol. No glass, but I got a weapon. He's got a gun. 
while we just move to our second lookout point. And uh, we saw another cow elk and a calf just tear across this side hill in front of us. And then I got looking down in, into these woods and there's three or four mule deer bucks. Um, nothing crazy big or anything, but for up here from what I've seen in the years past, some good ones. And uh, definitely like the size that I would probably hunt up here if I had an archery tag, just a general season archery elk, or archery mule deer tag. I'd probably go after them. We just got some phone scope of these bucks through these like aspens, kind of burnt aspens. And uh, it's really cool because they're just kind of blurry in the background and stuff. But uh, so far, good morning. We've been keeping an eye on those bulls and they're just feeding up the hill. This morning has been perfect because it's overcast. And I think the animals are staying out longer than they typically would on a summer day. It feels great up here. It's still warm. You can see I'm in a tank top. But I think we need to find their water source and put up a trail camera. I've always wanted to put up a tree stand right in front of me here where I think the water starts. We're gonna go take a look, see if there's uh, any good trees. Bridget just set another cam right there. We're kind of down in the steep ravine. There's a spring right above us. And this is pretty much what the entire canyon looks like. So it's gonna be hard to pinpoint exactly where the elk and the deer are gonna water, but there's a, a trail right here. Some fresh tracks you can see right there, you know, in the mud right there. So we put a camera right there and it kind of gets this whole little valley. And uh, maybe later in the rut, this will turn into like a big mud pit or a wallow kind of in this stuff like there's some standing water up in there so another camera set on to the next all right guys coming at you from the cell phone i left my vlog cam at the truck came to get this camera it's been a while since i've seen this one and last i checked it did not produce hardly anything but there's 234 photos on it now I need my phone to check it out, so I'm gonna give it a look and I'll let you guys know what's up. Well, I'd have to say that camera definitely got the most variety out of uh, any camera I've had up for a while. Got antelope, elk, mule deer, and coyotes all right here. And then, of course, it got a picture of a human being myself. <laughs> Anyways, this, this is one of the 4K stealth cams. Shoots video in 4K mode. I only had it here on picture mode because I wanted to go through the winter. This is not a very good spot. As you can see, those the pictures that I showed you were the best pictures it had for being over here for like seven months. So I'm going to pull this camera, take it to somewhere where it's, you know, it could be more effective. Hey guys, thanks for watching this little scouting series. It was just a quick overnight trip. But we had fun and I feel like we accomplished a lot by putting up trail cameras and uh, also doing just a little bit of glassing in the morning. The hunt starts in September, so fingers crossed that some of those bulls stick around because about late August, early September, they just start to disappear. As soon as that rut starts, as soon as those first few cows go into heat, these bulls will be gone. But it's always fun to have the cameras up through the summer months just to kind of see what's in the area. It allows us to see what type of caliber of bulls to expect during the hunting season. So uh, we'll leave them up. We'll check them out later. And as it gets closer to the hunt, we'll probably just take them down. Anyways, guys, I'm packing up tonight to head to Texas. So you guys will be seeing Axis deer hunting videos on this channel very soon. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Help us out. And I uh, hope you guys have a good night.